beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to look again at our lovely and beautiful Kazakhstan singer Dimash and Dimash or Dimash um, so today I want to look at him and today I want to look into his vocal coaching training. This is so nice to really see how the stars are training with their vocal coaches, with their singing teachers, um, with their performing arts teachers. So let's have a look at that today. If you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, then please, please subscribe. Most of the time the videos are demonetized, they are copyright strike or claimed, so your subscription and your notification really means a lot. They watch but they're not subscribed, so it's really important and yes, it makes the whole difference. And please watch the video till the end. Thank you so much. Very legato. Now what he's doing is being very legato here, very pianissimo. So is he with that quality called sobbing. Sobbing is a major quality or technique, let's say even technique for this video that you can use in classical music but you can use it also in other musical theater uh, for example and it helps you easier to get to those really really high notes and to this really difficult high note that is that kind of sound that, you hear that sound that is called sobbing and that really majorly helps you tilt your larynx which gives it a little bit of that sweetness to the sound Okay. Yeah, what he doesn't want is he don't want Dimash to switch and to switch with his larynx up high. So he doesn't want to go. That is his larynx. That is just, wow, jumping up high to reach that note. So what the vocal coach wants is that his larynx still stays in that certain position and doesn't jump up to get to this higher note, which the larynx, you know, the larynx moves, right? <laughs> so it's like a slide, like a stretch, more of a slide. Okay. Still maintaining the saw. And he wants him to create space, right? So he wants him to create space in his uh, pharynx, in with his larynx. So it's all about the larynx position at the moment. Yes. And the sobbing. Crescendo, decrescendo. Oh, nice. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So <laughs> full So that was a crescendo, decrescendo, and the decrescendo, decrescendo is difficult because you need the right amount of air. You need to work with what you have. That is your air. So yeah, that means your diaphragm. You need to work with your diaphragm, and you need to uh, control your volume. It's a little bit like a game, right? So you work with your volume. You work with your diaphragm. You work with your breath. A breath makes the volume. Um, and still it has to project nicely, it has to travel nicely, and this is the core essence of it. So that's a beauty that was just beautiful. It's beautiful to see this. Mm. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Is he speaking Chinese? <laughs> Crescendo and crescendo is difficult because that maintain, maintains already to be very um, sensible to very lis to listen to your body. It's that certain perfectionism, that professionalism. Um, it, it's that 
it makes you going from an, a good singer to a perfect vocalist is that crescendo is pulling back bringing more the volume and especially if you belt or if there's a high intense production going on in that case with a falsetto that was very strong um, or let's say head voice whatever you want to call it for men you say falsetto um, or falsetto I don't want to be too much falsetto <laughs> in that case it was um, easier for him because what is very difficult is mixing and you know or belting and then bring that high note back into a decrescendo that's Hardcore. That's really a sport what we're doing here. I hope you enjoyed this video today as much as I did. I'm also on Instagram and it would make me so so happy if you would follow me there as well. I'm waiting for you. Let's communicate with each other and I wish you a phenomenal amazing 2020 coming up. Big kisses from the human Singapore. Hashtag get strong, kick ass and thank you so much for watching this video and I hope I see you in my next video.